This is a list of the reference quality Blu-rays available today. It's your boy Bras Tax in this bitch. You already know. I ain't gonna lie to you. I mean this when I say this. Your boy had a KFC bucket all to himself. I'm talking six pieces of chicken, two fries. Uh, I got some ribs with that shit too. I got some coleslaw. I got an extra chicken burger in this bitch. I had that shit yesterday. I'm still feeling it. I'm still feeling it. I'm fucked up. So a bit sluggish, but we're gonna try and move on with this shit. So people have asked, what are the reference quality Blu-rays to buy right now? So we're going to get on with this bitch. There's not going to be a top 10 because they're all reference quality, okay? But we're going to go through it. We're just going to bang these out. No reason to go balls deep. I reviewed 99% of these anyway. Now we all know this one. It's still regarded by many as the gold standard. I believe it's already been overthrown. And that is The Revenant. Everything from the way the movie was shot, the lighting, the detail, the movie itself, it's an A1 transfer. Still regarded as the gold standard. You cannot go wrong with this release at all. I disagree with this next one, but this is what all the reviewers, everyone, have regarded as a reference quality Blu-ray. And that's Mad Max. Beautiful transfer. I don't think it's quite reference quality, but this is the general consensus. The colours are very good. HDR is a real winner here. It's a huge uptick over the original Blu-ray. And it's another one to have in your basket if you are buying a 4K TV and a 4K player. It's a no-brainer. Sicario. Natural tone. The only movie I've seen that'll make you want to feel like you want to have a shower after that bitch. Because that film make you feel all kinds of fucked up. What is beautiful about this movie is the way it's shot once again. HDR's on point, colours are on point, the depth of field's on point. It's a reference quality Blu-ray. Heralded by a number of other reviewers as an A1 reference quality 4K Blu-ray. And that's Miss Peregrine's. Now, I watched Miss Peregrine's and I thought it was a very, very good transfer. I thought it was a couple of pubic hairs short from reference quality. But that's regarded as reference quality. The movie is so-so in my opinion, but it's full screen and it does look gorgeous. This one is clearly a reference quality disc and even a gold standard in this bitch and that is Lucy. Scarlett Johansson with those lips, baby. You look A1. You look especially A1 in 4K. The only way you would look any better is in real life sitting right here next to me. But we wouldn't be shooting a video, I'll keep it real with you. Regarded as many by already dethroning the absolute gold standard of The Revenant. And this was Sully. Sully is a good movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a top class reference quality transfer. Tom Hanks looking old as hell, but it's a gorgeous disc. What do you want me to say? He playing himself still, but what can I say? Another movie, Tom Hanks playing himself again in this bitch. That is Inferno. Beautiful transfer reference quality transfer, one of the best of the three in the trilogy, you know, Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons and Inferno. But out of the transfers, it is the best out of the three and it's a reference quality disc. What more do you want me to say? I've never been a fan of Blake Lively, but she was great in this movie. Great movie, bringing the bite back to sharks. Do you know what I mean? The shallows, gripping, a lot of tension in it. You feel scared for her. You feel especially more scared for her in 4K with a HDR. Now the place that she's in looks lovely as hell. Looks like a place I'd want to chill in. I want to just lie on the beach and listen to some music in this bitch. But I don't want to go in the ocean because there's a big bad shark there. Night and day over the 1080p. It's a reference quality Blu-ray. This film is shit. Okay, I'm, let me just preface by saying that. This film is shit. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is a shitty movie, but it's a beautiful reference quality disc. Everything stands out in that, especially Spider-Man's first encounter with Electro as Electro. The, the 4K, the HDR on that specific scene with all the electricity and everything is mind-blowing. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous transfer shitty movie. What do you want me to say? Exodus, another movie which I was a little uh, about. Yeah, it's all right. It could have been a lot better. But the transfer is stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's a reference quality transfer. There was a reason that this disc was on the demo shelf when 4K with HDR was first being announced. I can't figure out whether this movie's trying to be a modern day short circuit or not, but Chappie, I didn't like this movie. 
I've even forgot about a lot of the movie, but there's one thing I didn't forget about, and that is how beautiful the 4K Blu-ray looked. Another reference quality Blu-ray. Right? If you like the movie, then it's a no-brainer. You should definitely pick this up in 4K. It is by far the best version of the movie, and it is heralded by most as another reference quality Blu-ray. Based on the last couple of reviews I did, Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk. Controversial! Controversial. I went on record of saying it is the best 4K Blu-ray available today. I stand by that, and it's because of the 4K60. I'm going to do a separate video on that, but it's another gorgeous, gorgeous Blu-ray. Really is. I think it's the best in class right now. I really do. And higher frame rate is the future. I really believe that. You cannot go wrong. Now there's a lot of other movies that come close. Some would even argue should be on this list as well. And I do agree with you. There's a couple of movies that I feel should be on this, but aren't as far as the general consensus are concerned. But these are your cream of the crop, best of the bunch. So if you're looking to put items in your basket in 4K, these are the ones. And that's it guys, that's the list. I thought I'd give it to you. A lot of people had asked for this. So here it is. Hit the like button if you liked it. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna catch you guys soon.